Uh, Springsteen's on tour. Maybe we could uh, we could get him come in. Can do the bracket challenge. At least he can do his uh, maybe. Did you uh, reach swing out by. to Springsteen of to we do? Did. <laughs> I wanted my boss bracket. So I could share it with you guys. I go, look at this, the boss Springsteen. Well, you did reach out to just about everybody. If Natalie Portman can't do it, maybe Bruce Springsteen. Can. <laughs> did you reach out to Taylor Swift to do a bracket? I did not. I thought that was just going to be ten billion followers. Whatever that wasn't going to happen. But I did think we had a shot at all the other ones. No, no, we didn't. Oh. But, you know. I like to believe that we do. I want to go see Taylor Swift on tour. Yes. So I just heard about Taylor Swift's show that she's doing now. Over three hours. Is It's over three hours. She does something like 45 songs or something. That's yes. very Bruce Springsteen-like. Yes, okay. He, he goes for hours. If you said I could go see Springsteen or Taylor Swift, I'm going for Taylor. I'm going T-Swift. Yes. All day. Good yeah. call. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Paul. Bruce Springsteen, Saturday, April 1st, Madison Square Garden, and the next night at uh, at in Brooklyn he's playing. You Tickets are available. What do you think the best ticket price is right now, closest to the hole, to get in the spring scene at Madison Square Garden? Closest to the hole. $350. Well, oh, I'm giving that to you. It's three fifty two. Wow. Oh, okay. We're ending the contest. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Section 320, row BS3. That's not even like that. Bruce BS. Springsteen, yeah. row BS. Ooh, semi-obstructed view. Yeah. <laughs> semi-obstructed. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. The stage tickets right in front of the stage are general admission. So, Ooh, I don't like that. Get ready but, for that mosh pit. But yeah. there's only like 30 rows of general admission of the best seats in the house. They're 3,000 apiece. And whoever, first come, first serve. But only 30 rows. The rest of the place is fixed tickets. Mm. Yeah, I don't like when there's a mad rush to the stage. Want to compare ticket prices? T-Swizzle? I'm going to say T-Swift is a lot more money. Whole place. Okay. But yeah, it's like she has 17 wardrobe changes and it's over three hours. And there's a band opening. Uh, Paramore. Phoebe, Phoebe Bridgers. Oh, Phoebe Bridgers is on yeah. some dates. I know Paramore is opening, but yeah. I mean, they'll probably do a 45-minute set. Oh, do you know who went to see Taylor Swift the other night? Anybody want to guess? Friend of the show? J.J. Watt. <laughs> Husband of the year. Yep, yep. He uh, tweeted out that he was there and, uh, you know, couldn't believe all the, uh, all th over three hours. In. It's probably an awesome show. Yes. Yeah. Well, of course it is. Yeah. Get to hear Taylor's version on some of those songs. Yes, Paul. Okay, Taylor Swift tickets. Oh, boy. Okay. They're hard to get at any price. I don't think you can get them. I think the whole tour is sold out. It's sold out on her website. Yeah. You can get, let's say, okay, she's playing um, East Rutherford, New Jersey, MetLife. Yeah. The best price I can get you in for is 900 bucks, and that's row, that's section 345. Ouch. I think you maybe they'll see her shoulder from that area from where the <laughs> angle I'm looking at. 900 yeah. is your best price. Yeah, when you say, oh, I, I went to see Taylor Swift, it's I went to hear Taylor Swift, because you might not see her with those seats. On the monitor, you could see her up Thank you, Todd. I can Thank get you row 16 for 3600 a piece. A piece? Yeah. Jeepers, creepers. Oh. Yeah, Marv. Don't you think stadium tours are just bad ideas? Do you think it's just a bad idea? Why? It just looks like it's just too big. But that's more people who get a chance to see an artist. Barely. Okay. The $900 in row 819. The best concert I went to where they somehow made a huge stadium look intimate. Do you guys want to guess? Pauly? Rolling Stones? No. Stop me up. That's just an excuse for you. Yes, to do I know. <laughs> Tesla, five man acoustical jam? Oh. No. Okay. Todd? Your Britney Spears concert. Oh, uh, no. I had great seats for that. That was off to the side. Yeah, the adult section. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> adult yeah. section. <laughs> there, uh, there were plenty of seats available in the adult section Parents, when, over I went, here. Yeah, when I went to see Britney Spears solo. Yes, Marv. Fish? No. They don't play stadiums? Well, they play yeah, the garden they, they like yeah, 18 they play the days garden. in a row. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a big deal. They could, they could sell out the garden for a month. Yeah. They could can just keep playing for, you know, 30 days. You too. You two had the heart, oh yeah, and they somehow made it an an intimate concert, and it was I saw it at the in Chicago, and the the heart where people were inside, and the band would go around you know outside on on the heart, 
Uh, so they were in the audience, deep into the audience, so they go back on stage. It, it was extremely well done. Yes, Eden. That uh, tour, I had seats inside the heart Yeah, for uh, the U2 concert, uh, but it was the same day as my brother's wedding. <laughs> well, they, you, oh. you would stand in the heart. So you missed your brother's wedding? It, it was close. It was close. It was close. I was with a friend, and uh, we're in the, in the heart for U2. And we went all the way to the back of the heart. And he said, why, why aren't we trying to go upstage? And this is when, uh, who, uh, who opened up? Uh, oh, uh, the brothers, Caleb and uh, uh, Kings of Leon. Kings of Leon yeah, opened yeah, yeah. up. The other time I saw him, Muse opened up for him. But I'm at the back of the stage, the inside part of the stage, the heart. And my friend goes, why aren't we up there? I said, you want to be right here. And all of a sudden, they played a couple of songs. They're right above us. You had Bono and uh, Edge. Edge is using his guitar almost like it's a knife or a weapon going after Bono. It was, it was great. It was really pretty spectacular. Yes, Paul? Do you guys ever go to a concert and the opening act band was like a nobody, but you saw them when they were still a nobody and they became big? Kings of Leon that and was, Muse. Yeah. Or yeah. oh, they weren't big yet? I don't think so. Wow. I don't think so. If they were, they were right on the cusp. I remember Muse sounded incredible. You know, it was like, wow. Yes, he. You have to be a certain kind of band to fill an arena. You know, Muse can do that. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift can do that, but you have to be a certain, just a massive, massive production. Yes, boy. Rolling Stone has a list of concerts. Stop me up. Where and it's, it's big name bands, and they had a somewhat of a nobody who became huge. Uh, Stevie Wonder opened for the Rolling Stones in like. When he was very young, he was just becoming a solo tour. Guns N' Roses opened for Aerosmith in 1988. Ooh. A year later, they had the number one. That would have been that would have been good. Same, same year, Guns N' Roses opened for Motley Crue. Oh, I killed a gun of that. Did Hendrix open for the Beatles? Does that sound even plausible? Checking. Okay. Prin- in 1980, Prince opened for the Rolling Stones. Ooh. Dang. Man. Yeah, Marv. Prince also opened up for Rick James. Imagine that tour. <laughs> the, the after parties are just alone. Yeah, but I don't know if Prince would have indulged in that. I, I got the one you're looking for. In 1966, Jimi Hendrix opened up for the Monkees. Oh, damn it. Yeah, he broke through with a single Purple Haze in the summer of 67. Darn it. Just months before, he, he agreed to do some shows for the Monkees, yeah. which was a TV comedy TV show. And not everybody played their own instruments in the Monkees. You know, Mike Nesmith, I think, was, and I think his mom invented or dad invented liquid paper, and uh, he was he he wore the uh, the beanie. Uh, he had a, always had his hat on. Uh, Mickey Dolan's, uh, Davy Jones, and Peter Tork. And then Peter Tork's brother was a running back, Eric Torkelson for yes. the Green Bay Look Packers. At you. Yeah, deep dive. Yeah, bloop bloop. Yeah. Yeah. Jimi Hendrix did an interview. He said he was booed off the stage the four nights <laughs> he opened for the monkeys because it was a bunch of like teenagers of wanting course. to see the monkeys. Yeah. yeah. And he's doing his thing. Yes. Which yeah. was yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, mature. Excuse me. Mature. Yeah. While I kiss the sky. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Play last train to Clarksville already. Yeah. Pleasant Valley Sunday. Sunday. I don't know how we got on this. Marvin, you have no idea what we're talking about. I am lost on Jimi Hendrix opening up for the monkeys. I don't even know who the monkeys are. I know who Hendrix is. But Why don't, don't you Google them? Uh, it takes, takes work. They had an unbelievable TV show. They hit with the monkeys. They had a, they had a, it was a you know, fictitious band, and, but they made real songs. I think they had a cartoon also, like they did with the Globetrotters. They were that big. Mm. Thank you, Todd. An animated series or something. Yes, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. I think we're talking about Springsteen not filling out a bracket and then going to a Taylor Swift concert. Yes, Marvin. I was just going, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, you were. Oh. We're home now. We do this all day. Where all day. Just random where we'll go, hoo, 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 as Todd does his Springsteen in person. Oh. <laughs> we're going to go home now. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Bring it home. All righty. <laughs> 